What do you think, Lily? Do those look good? Lily approves. All right. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So I'm out in the greenhouse this evening, getting some more seeds going. It's a Sunday evening. You can hear the neighbors partying. We've got a beautiful glowing sunset over yonder that you can see through the greenhouse plastic. It's just a great night to be out here. Open her up. Well, you don't want none of this. <laughs> Trust me on that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you wanna smell it? I don't think that'll hurt anything. All right, so we got our seeds there and I'm just gonna lay a couple in each cell. That was it. So only a few seeds in that pepper seed pack because it's more of a rare seed. So we'll make sure, oh, you want to help Lily? I think Lily wants to be a gardener cat, guys. Her name's Lovely, but you might notice I'm always calling her Lily. Just kind of developed. We'll just use the little dibber tool to press those in. Um, excuse me, Lovely. Ow. Hey. Oh, good thing I got another one. Whoa, okay, she gave up. And we'll just push those seeds down. Water that in with my electric pump sprayer here, set to the perfect setting to just gently water in those seeds. And I'm just going to slap this humidity dome over the top. These are cool because they have a little adjustable vent here. So you can really dial in how much humidity you want to keep under the dome. Next step, I got these plant markers, bottom in bulk. These are little cheapo things. So got my fine tip Sharpie here, and this will just go right underneath the dome, just like that. In my seed pack, I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag labeled 2023 plantings. And so all my seed packs, whether there's remaining seeds or not, will go in that bag. If there's any remaining seeds, I like to put a little piece of blue painter's tape just to keep it sealed. It's easy to seal it and reopen it without tearing the envelope. But that's a good idea to save the envelope. You've got all the growing information, the variety. You could even get like a photo album and stick this into one of the sleeves and have the image and everything just to keep track. You can include some notes after your harvest, how the plant performed, overall taste notes, would you grow it again, things you learned, Anyway, just throwing out some ideas for you guys so you can continually plant more abundance in your life. If every day you can even just get one little flat of seeds started or even just fill a few plastic cups with soil and get some seeds going there, then you're making progress in the right direction where I know you want to find yourself this spring and summer. Next up, I'm going to be planting some dill. And for this crop, I'm going to just seed the flat and take these small little transplants and plug them directly out in the landscape. Should have good success doing it that way with the dill. Some of the other crops, I really prefer to grow out five to seven inches before I bring them out to the garden. They just have a better established root system at that point and the plant's more resilient to pests and insects that could kill the plant off when you plant them in the ground when they're still too young and tender. Right now I'm running all these lights in my greenhouse off this little jackery here. I can get about hour and a half, two hours of runtime with all these grow lights on. Right now, I'm only really using the lights just for some nighttime work that I'm doing out here, not to stimulate any plant growth. But hey, you could pick something up like this, plug a solar panel into it, so it fully charge each day if you got sunshine, and have it turn on at night. I've got a little switch bot on here that I programmed that it can hit the power button on and off. So I can set this to come on for 
a couple hours at dusk, extending the daylight hours to the plants. When the switch bot comes on, it actually clicks this little button right here, which turns the power off. Or on. So literally I can control this from an app on my phone and set the schedule for whatever I want. I use a similar setup. I put this under a faux rock and have it trigger on and off my automatic watering pump to some of my plants. So basically you could have a vessel with a small pump in there and have it water your plants for whatever, a 15 minute cycle every day. This is an off grid way to do that. If you've got a large container that you've got water in, that pump can feed your plant and become activated on a schedule with one of these switch bots and a small jackery or one of the other electric generators.